Hey there, I'm Chris from Good Roads, and this, this is a balance board. Balance boards are great exercise. They help tone and build the muscles that we use in action sports and board sports. And since the snowboard and ski season got cut short and we're all stuck at home in lockdown, this seemed like the perfect project to tackle. So if you've got access to a 3D printer and a plank of wood, I'll show you how to make a balance board so that we can train and exercise while we shelter in place. The first step of the project is you're gonna need to print the parts. I'll have a link in the description to the My Mini Factory link where you can get the files for the different parts that you need for this build. One note before we get started, you wanna print them strong. That means lots of walls, that means lots of top and bottom layers and a fairly dense infill. If you want more information on that, Tom Sandlatterer or Stefan from CNC Kitchen, I've done a ton of videos on how to get strong parts from all kinds of different printable materials. So I'll try to dig up some of those videos and link them down below, but they've done a lot of videos on them So their channels in general really good resources for that kind of thing The parts for this project are designed to be printable on any medium to large size printer You could probably even slice them and print them on some of the smallest ones and the parts that you're gonna need are two barrel halves one barrel key one end stop a one end stop B and Enough rail parts to fill out the length of your board it's modular, so you could do a really short one or a really long one, it's up to you. In addition to the printed parts, you're gonna need just a handful of other things. You're gonna need some super glue. You're gonna need something to mark a center line, so a ruler or a square, and a pen or pencil or whatever. Some number eight, three quarter inch wood screws. I would also recommend having something to center punch some holes with. So I'm actually using a center punch, but you could use a nail, just whatever narrow pointy thing you happen to have on hand. And depending on the board that you choose, it might also help to have a drill. Which leads me to the last component, you need a board. And you can use anything that you have that would hold your weight. A beefy piece of plywood would work, cut off from a beam, like a one by six or a one by eight, and there's no reason a two by whatever wouldn't work as well. An old skateboard or longboard deck would be perfect for this. As for me, I just went through my wood pile and I chose this oak plank. I'm pretty picky about aesthetics, so I spent some time and effort dressing up my board so it would look nice. but that step can be optional, it's up to you. Once you have your board, the next thing you need to do is mark your center line. We're gonna be using this to align all of the printed parts on the bottom of the board. After you've marked your center line, lay out your end stops and rails on the board and get a sense of where you want them. And after that, we're gonna sight our center line through the bolt holes in the part and center punch for our screws. At this point, I wanted to make sure that my oak plank wouldn't split, so I grabbed a drill and pre-drilled my holes. In some cases, this wouldn't be needed, like if you're using a plywood or an old skateboard deck, but for a piece of hardwood that's got long grain, it just helps guarantee that the board doesn't come apart as we're building it. After that, just screw your end stops and rails into place. To make the barrel, all you need to do is super glue the barrel key into one half of the barrel. And then super glue the other half of the barrel onto that, rotated 90 degrees, and you'll see there's a little zigzag. Those two barrel halves and the barrel key fit together and lock together to make sure everything's aligned. And you're done. Now you have a balance board. When you're starting out, it can be helpful to hold on to something as you're learning how to keep your balance on the board. It can be a table or a door frame or your friend's shoulders or a ladder. But eventually you'll build up the muscle memory and the balance will become smooth and natural. With practice, you can try more difficult things like changing your stance,
or dropping your center of gravity. or even trying to use the board one-footed. Balance boards are really fun exercise on their own, but here's what I love best about these things. As you start to get good at them, you can practice and build up your balance passively while you enjoy other activities. You can exercise and work on your balance while you read. You can do it while you eat lunch. You can do it while you play video games. You can do it while you're rocking out. You can even practice your balance while you're shooting a YouTube video. Pretty cool, huh? So, balance boards. The perfect shelter in place your ski or snowboard season got cut short exercise and training piece of hardware. And as long as you have a 3D printer, it's a really quick, easy project to tackle while we're all stuck at home during the lockdown. So I hope that you like the project. I hope you can make use of it, make yourself some balance boards, get some exercise. I'll have the links to all the relevant files down in the description below. If you got any questions or any other comments, drop them down below. I respond to as many of them as possible. If you like this project, you want to support the channel, you're interested in other kind of board sport activities, that's what we do here. So subscribe if you want to see more. There's a lot of cool projects coming in the future. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for checking it out. And until the next project, I'll see you soon.